hello everyone, it's Rose and I am back today with another four unbaggings. Uh, these come from Everyday E-Crafts and I want to get right into it and show you what I got. So the first one is a Rose Tries and the second one is also a Rose Tries. Uh, and so my first Rose Tries comes to me from my viewer Celine and when she sent me the request to try this I was more than happy to do it because I think it's a really really pretty diamond painting now it is a partial did I know that I don't think I had noticed that before uh, when I was looking at it online uh, it comes with some bags and everything else you need in the kit so uh, yeah, it's, it's a very, very simple diamond painting. Wow. Um, it's got 15 colors, all in the butterflies. There's nothing else that's drilled except for the four, uh, four butterflies. Yeah. Um, let's take a look. Well, first, let's measure the drill area, just or the image area, since it's a partial. Let's see how big this is. It is 24 across by 33 and a half so we'll call it 34 24 by 34 so it's very very pretty i love the colors on it and i do love butterflies so i'm always happy to get butterfly diamond paintings uh, as long as they don't look like they're gonna be totally pixelated so this looks good um and through the camera it looks fantastic so let's take a look at the canvas and the legend so it's a very very simple legend and given the size of it and the amount of drilling I don't anticipate having any problems at all with this so let's just take a quick look at the canvas here yeah it looks all clear to me I don't see anything at all that's a problem. Yep, yeah, no, it's good. Great, okay. Let's take a look at the drills. So there are no DMC numbers marked on the canvas, but they are marked on the drill packages. So that's good. So let's take a look. Oh, let me zoom way in so that we can see the quality of the drills. Considering how small the package is, there are a lot of 310s. 321 is such a beautiful color. Yeah, just, just lovely. I'm, yeah, I, I'm always happy when I get this kind of uh, packaging for the drills. I'm pretty much guaranteed good drills. So this diamond painting I will definitely do um, because first off, it's super small and it's super pretty. I may not have um, chosen it myself. Well, I probably would have chosen it myself if I had seen it before Celine did. So, um, yeah, because it is, I just love the colors uh, of the butterflies on that stone wall or whatever it is. Okay. So that was a quick one. All right, so that's number 623, the colorful butterfly. Uh, cut of, colorful butterflies, uh, actually. Um, partial, 24 by 34. Uh, Celine, I would love to know what you think of this and whether you intend to get it. So let's move on 
to our next item. Okay, so uh, 624 is another Rose Tries, and it's uh, in a series, essentially, of Rose Tries that I got from my friend Rob, who is known as Diamond Painting Dog Dad. And Rob now lives in Florida, but he used to live further north where tulips grew. Apparently they can't grow in Florida because they need the cold of winter to um, get themselves ready to bloom. So Rob asked me to try a few canvases that include tulips in them. And since I love tulips as well, I told him, no problem, I'd be happy to try them for him. So this is a super, super stiff canvas, which is fine, I'm not fussed about that at all. Uh, it's just a little, it's just taking a little bit of time to flatten out. But the nice thing about the super stiff canvases is when they flatten out, they're really flat and you can iron these no problem. So, um, so it's, uh, it's going to be fine. And you see how well it, it flattened out so quickly. It's all good. It's all good. There's one loose drill in here. I don't know if it's from here. Uh, okay. And we have a toolkit that has a few little bags in it. So that's nice. Um, let's see, we've got the DMC numbers marked on the canvas. This is a round drill diamond painting. Um, so let's measure it and check the size. So it's 25 by 34. So, gonna make sure I get my label on there or else I'm never gonna be able to pick out my diamond paintings. It would take a long time if I didn't have my numbers on them. I mean, now all I really need is the number, but, um, but before I used to order them according to name, so it was important to have the name as well. Uh, okay, so we have 20 colors. DMC numbers are on the canvas. Let's take a look at the legend. Oh, I just saw that through the canvas and or I just saw that through the camera and it looks great. It actually looks really, really pretty just with my eyes too. So uh, again, this is a, one of the simple uh, legends. Those look good. I don't see anything that's uh, going to be confusing. They're pretty much all light colors except for number 154. So, um, and maybe some of the reds, but the numbering, like the, the canvas is super, super clear. Oh, and I'm going to blow that up. There we go. You're at 1x now. And yeah, you see how clear this is? Very nice. It's got a nice mix of uh, certain runs of color and a little bit of confetti. It's not a totally confetti diamond painting or a totally color block diamond painting. It's just a nice mix of the two. So this is the sort of thing that you know keeps your mind occupied a little bit while you're drilling. There's nothing here that's in that's at all confusing. Those nines I might like to have black on the uh, light purple there, but um, but it's not going to be a problem really. That's really nice. And as we pull back from it, that's going to be just beautiful, Rob. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. This is another one that I will do when it comes up in a penny pick. So let's take a look now at the drills. And I noticed that the drill bags don't have DMC numbers on them, but that's okay because the DMC numbers appear on the canvas. It's 
since there are no DMC numbers on the bags, let's zoom way in and we'll look at them from the back. So this is really nice. Um, I, I just love to see the very, very flat bottoms on these things. And I'm not seeing a lot of flash, which is, you know, the ooze around the edge of the molds. Um, I don't see tabs, which are little bits of plastic that connect one drill to another that sometimes uh, they're not properly cut off. And so it makes your drill not fit in the space that it's intended for. Uh, these look really, really good. Yeah. So if you would like me to try a diamond painting for you before you buy it, uh, let's say you're not sure, you know, what it's going to look like, or you're not sure if you're going to be able to read the canvas because, you know, maybe the printing's not good or they didn't do the charting well. So, you know, you would have a frustration working on it. Um, send me an email to ramblingrosedp at gmail.com and uh, put rose tries in the subject line and include a link to the diamond painting that you want me to try. It's got to be a diamond painting from one of the stores that's currently showing at the bottom of your screen. Uh, that list of stores and all the information about the Rose Tries program is also found in the description to this video down below. And um, yeah, if you send me that link, I will uh, check it out and I will let you know if I'm going to try it for you. I usually do, uh, but there are some diamond paintings that, I mean, it could be anything from I've already done an unboxing for that diamond painting, to I really, you know, don't think it would be suitable for my channel. And, um, and so, you know, I won't do it for that reason. Or I know that it's not going to turn out and there's, n you know, there's no sense in ordering it. Um, but other than that, I am happy to try your requests. I, it might take a little while because, you know, with ordering time and just the fact that I always have more requests than I have, um, than I have opportunities to order them, uh, it might take a little while, but I'll let you know if I plan on trying your diamond painting. And if I do try it, I will do a full review of it, just like this. And then you'll be able to decide whether you want to buy it. So um, again, this is tulips number three. It's the third in the set of tulips that uh, that I'm trying for Rob. Um, I don't think I've received all of the others yet, uh, but um, it's number 624 in my inventory. Round drills, it's 25 by 34 from Everyday E-Crafts. So I would say that this is a big win. I really, really like it. I think it's going to look very pretty. And our next diamond painting is one that I chose. And so this is number 625. And I call it Aurora Borealis number two because I have another one that I got that I also called Aurora Borealis. I do like Aurora Borealis images. And my daughter and I, before COVID, we had planned uh, a cross Canada train trip. And uh, one of the things I had been looking forward to was um, seeing the Aurora Borealis um, up in Churchill, Manitoba. So we're going to do that trip whenever um, it's safe and uh, we're going to go up to Churchill, and um, which is a, essentially a four-day detour from doing the rest of the country, but, uh, but it's two days by train to get to Churchill from, I think, Edmonton, and another two days to get back. Um, but I think it'll be fantastic in terms of just getting up as far north as, as that. I have never been anywhere near that far north. Edmonton's the furthest north I've ever been. Um, okay. 
So uh, I'm, I kind of like this. It's going to be a dark image because it is the Aurora Borealis at night. Um, so, you know, we've got like the night images, but we've also got the pictures of, uh, you know, the water and the snow. I think it's going to be really beautiful. Yeah, probably going to look way better when it's done than um, this gives any impression of. All right, let's measure it. It is a 30, almost 34 wide. Just a drill or two short of that. And it's just about 25 high. Okay, so this uh, diamond painting has 22 colors. And um, the waterfalls here, I see, they do have a nice mix of colors. So I think those might end up looking pretty realistic, or at least fairly realistic, you know, considering the size of this. Um, I think they're gonna be rendered very well. So there we have that um, Greek and uh, Scandinavian symbol and a mix of letters and symbols for everything else. No DMC numbers on the canvas or on the bags themselves. Um, so let's take a look at the canvas in 1X. There we go. So I think that AE symbol might be just a little bit complicated. Um, I think there are probably symbols they could have chosen that are less complicated. But I mean, it's printed quite clearly. Everything is printed very clearly here. I notice that there is a percent sign. I don't love seeing percent signs and ampersands. But again, they're printed pretty clearly. So let's just go up here. So there's the um, there's the percent sign. It's the only drill that's that uh, in that shade of colors with white print. So there's no way it's going to get confused with anything else. The uh, the closest other color to it is the D, and that's printed you know in a completely different color and. I wouldn't even say the G is anywhere near the same color. So yeah, so I think this will be easy to do. Everything else is like, it's all printed very, very clearly. Nice, sharp, crisp um, symbols on the canvas. And that ampersand, again, uh, it's, it's clearly printed. It's not gonna be confused with anything else. And, yep, yeah, no, this is good. This is good. So this one again, it's kind of a mix of confetti and small areas of color blocking. So it'll take some attention to work on it, but that much so you can you know be listening to tv or a podcast or the radio or talking on the phone or whatever you like to do while you're diamond painting or just thinking about life the universe and everything all right so that's the canvas it looks good let's take a look at the kit that comes with it it is just a plain standard kit no bags that's fine So with 22 colors, this kit has more drill colors than any of the others that we've opened so far. Uh, let's take a look at them in 2X. Oh, and it's a square kit. Okay. Um, that's good. I love doing square kits. Squares are my favorite. 
So I see one drill here, not sure if you can see it, just above my fingernail, that is, um, looks like it's got just one side that's not perfectly straight, but everything else looks nice. And they're super flat drills. Some of them have little dimples in them, but uh, that should not be a problem. These look beautiful. Let's take a look at these now. Yeah, this is good. So yesterday, I don't have any ugly diamond paintings to show you today. So, um, or maybe I do. There might be one that came in yesterday that I didn't look at yet. Um, if there is, I'll put it in here. And if you want to send me an ugly diamond painting that you come across while you're uh, shopping or just window shopping in diamond painting stores, uh, send me an email at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. Put ugly diamond paintings or ugly DP in the subject line and include a link to the diamond painting that you found that you think is ugly. Uh, it could also be a picture of a diamond painting from your own stash or of, you know, one of your works in progress or one of the ones that you bought, but it turned out so yucky that you're never going to do it or you did it and it turned out so yucky that you don't ever want anybody else to see it hung up in your house or whatever. Any ugly diamond painting. And uh, I will share it with the world so that we can all share your pain. Um... Often they make us laugh. Um, and sometimes they just make us go, why? Why? So yesterday I spent uh, a little over an hour recording the first half of my 2020 projects finished video. Um, and I've edited it already. And so I don't know when, maybe later this week, I'll spend another hour, hour and a half or so uh, recording the second half of that video. I did consider breaking it into two different videos um, that are about an hour long each. And because the one that I recorded yesterday after editing is like 59 minutes and some odd seconds. Um, and then I decided, no, 109 diamond paintings deserves the time to uh, put it all together into a single video and um, I think it's a pretty amazing accomplishment to have completed 109 projects of all different sizes and uh, and so you know it'll be something that those of you who watch it you can add it to your watch list and watch little bits of it at a time or you can just do a marathon session and watch it all at once, but I'm not gonna break it up. Okay, so that is the Aurora Borealis. I'll put the drills away, and we will be back shortly. That is the Aurora Borealis number two. And on to our last diamond painting for today. Number 626. And this is a special shape diamond painting that I chose all by my lonesome. Uh, I saw it and I just fell in love with it. Standard kit there. Uh, I thought it was so, so pretty and kind of delicate looking. So I wanted to try it. I'm just going to raise this up a little bit so that the whole thing is in frame. So I just thought this was absolutely beautiful and I'll have the um, picture come up on the screen for you at some point so that you can uh, see what it looked like on the website. Uh, this has 13 different kinds of special shapes and crystal drills and um, I just think it's gorgeous. So let's measure to see what size of a frame you would need if you wanted to frame this. So from one edge of the drill area to the other, it's 24 centimeters. So for that, you'd need a 10 inch square frame. 
yeah, it's the same up and down. Um, a 10 inch square frame and there would be just a little bit, half a centimeter of uh, white that would show, around, well, white and a little bit of this uh, legend here that would show around the edge. So you want to put some washi tape or I'm not sure exactly what, I mean, you could lay down some, uh, like a, a, an outline of special drills or something like that. Oh, I noticed there's a little stain on the canvas. I've never gotten that before, uh, but it's on the part that would be cut off if you're going to frame this anyway, so not a big deal. Okay, so, and of course yours is not going to have the stain on it, so what am I even mentioning it for? Anyway, um, let's take a look at the canvas and then we'll take a look at the drills. So here's the legend and those are all extremely clear and simple um, symbols. Yeah, really, really simple and clear. Let's see what they look like on the canvas. This is a really busy canvas. So there, there will be hours of diamond placing enjoyment to be had working on this. Oh, I just, I just love it. It's so intricate. It's got so many diamonds on it. And the colors are just gorgeous. As we will see when we take a look at the drills next. So I just want to make sure that I've got all colors. I do. There's number 13. So let's take a look at them. These are so beautiful. I just love crystal drills and I love their shininess. And so many of them have the iridescent coating on them. Look at these gorgeous pink ones. Just beautiful. And then we've got the same ones, but orange as the primary color that comes through and then these gorgeous tear shaped faceted clear crystal iridescent drills and then these bright yellow round crystals those are pretty big and then regular size crystal drills in a variety of colors so we've got this gorgeous like electric blue and then we've got like a teal color turquoise or teal uh, and then the orange beautiful and then the golden yellow the clear drills which are just stunning they sparkle like mad and then these deep purple crystal drills I love this and with all of these colors and these drills this is going to look magnificent I love it. And when I'm able to get all of the materials that I need to demonstrate that mounting technique that uh, my viewer Paula um, asked me to, to demonstrate on my channel, I am going to, um, like eventually, whenever this is done, I will... Uh, I will be including that, this, on that um, mount. Okay, so that's it, everybody. Uh, that are, That's the four that I got in this order. And I'm just going to do a quick review to show you all of the ones. So 626, the mandala, number three, um, is going to be absolutely spectacular. Number 625, Aurora Borealis number two is, I think, going to look really nice when it's done. Those colors, beautiful. Uh, then we've got the tulips, number three, which is 624 in my inventory that Rob asked me to get. And again, I think this is very true to the painting that it was based on. And uh, I think it's going to look beautiful when it's done. And finally, we have the Colorful Butterflies, number 623, that Celine asked me to try for her. 
and I was surprised that it was a partial. I'm going to check the description and um, make sure that I didn't miss something uh, saying that it was a partial, but I think it's beautiful. I actually was worried that some of the detail of the stones wouldn't come through uh, if this and, and the ivy leaves would not come through if this was a partial or if it was a full drill. But since it's a partial, not an issue. It's going to look great. So just before uh, we leave today, I want to say thank you to Amy from Everyday E-Crafts. Um, she is my collaborator in today's video because uh, she's the one who arranged to have these diamond paintings sent to me on behalf of Everyday E-Crafts. And I am absolutely delighted. So that's it. There are our four diamond paintings for today. I'm very happy with them all. And uh, I hope you are too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like. And um, leave me a comment down below if you feel so inclined. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are a new viewer. And consider becoming a patron if you um, want to support my channel. Thanks ever so much. And I love you all. And I will be back to you again very, very soon with another diamond painting video. Bye-bye for now.